Today, we're going to be discussing another style in the Romantic period, the art song. This is a beautiful form which arose during the early Romantic period. Some of the greatest composers of the style were Schubert and Brahms and Schumann. They were inspired by the early Romantic 19th century poetry. Some of the most famous German poets of this era were the likes of Goethe and Heine. And these composers decided they would actually set the words of these poets to music. So this was a form that emerged, a unique form, which emerged during the Romantic period. It didn't exist during the classical period. They had other ways of setting texts. But as we mentioned, with the beginning of the Romantic period, composers turned their interest to other things, to nature, to unrequited love, to the mystical, to the otherworldly. And this yearning of the soul expressed itself in these art songs of the early Romantic period. At that stage, the piano was played mostly in people's homes. And they, they were, it was performed for the bourgeois, the middle class. They used to enjoy coming to the home of an, an important person or a composer and listening to these songs, perhaps for a whole evening. Schubert would devote whole evenings to his compositions and, and the bourgeois, the middle class, would come to enjoy his beautiful songs. And he would turn to the poetry of these 19th century German composers for inspiration. And they were usually referred to as the Lit, which is the German word for a song. In this form, essentially the piano and the voice come together. They are equal partners in interpreting the poetry. The piano might express an idea, perhaps the piano might play arpeggios to express rushing waters, or it might play sad, depressing chords in the lower register to express pathos and deep emotion. And this complements the singer who in turn, through his melody, interprets the poem. So the piano and the voice come together in the art song to interpret this magnificent 19th century poetry. There were different ways in which the composers would set the poems. One form was strophic form. In this form, a composer would set the same music to each stanza, or each verse. This was quite popular with folk songs, and it reinforced the same tune and the same idea. A contrasting form was through composed form. In this form, each stanza would have different music. And there was yet another form, ABA form, which was modified strophic. Stanzas A and C would both have the same music, and stanza B would have slightly different music. So it was essentially ABA, a modified strophic form. Sometimes these art songs would come together in a whole song cycle. Schubert was partial to this, as was Schumann. Some of his most famous song cycles were, as you can hear in the background, Der Winterreise, or there was another one by Schumann called Dichter Liebe. These were beautiful romantic poems which expressed introspective ideas. Brahms was another prolific composer of the art song. And these can be heard in, in their song cycles. What makes a song cycle interesting is that you have several different poems which come together. So there's a common thread which runs through all the poems. And the composer might have to have similar music in each poem or different music, but brought together through a common musical idea, perhaps through change of key and related keys. Or there might be a common musical thread running through all of them, but it is a united mu musical entity and it's a united poetic entity. So this is the song cycle, a set of art songs. And as we said, Schubert was one of the greatest composers of this form, and we will look at some of his examples. But Schubert truly had a tragic life, he died young, and some of the deepest outpourings of emotion can be heard in his art songs and his song cycles. We can hear the, the yearning and the pining in this, this one, the Winterreise. And Schubert turned into himself, he visited dark places which no person should ever visit, and he died at a very tragically young age. There are all sorts of theories as to why he died and how he died, and his life was not exactly conventional. But we will explore this. It is impossible to divorce the life of a composer from his music. And without any sense of a doubt, in every case, the art song is a pouring from the inner depths, an outpouring from the inner depths of the composer's heart, a deep searching for emotional understanding and truth. 
Then let us begin our journey in exploring this specific art form, the art song and the song cycle. We will look at specific examples, paying attention mostly to Schubert, who was one of the greatest composers in this genre.